Hi, so this tutorial is for using helmets to create accessories for the Inquisitor and or companions. How when it's a helmet or something like this, it's easier just for the Inquisitor because the head shapes don't alter too dramatically. Because if you make this for the human males, it would look odd and black or all cool and that because it's not made for the head shape. So in this case, it's better to keep it just for the Inquisitor. So this is an edited mesh and textures. This is when the mesh hasn't been edited yet or imported yet. But helmets hide hair and flatten ears. We do not want this for such as this or necklaces, earrings or anything like that. So we have to edit the equip item asset for the helmet we're replacing. Now it does take a little bit of finding but let's first just say where the meshes are. In day three actors Inquisitor Jill and Inquisitor Jim under appearances and helmet. They're going by an Inquisitor underscore model underscore mesh. I'm saying this because there are other helmets that use the word Inquisitor and they're not the right helmet that we want to replace. Now, to find out which helmet was correct, I did have to go through all the equip item assets until I found the right references. And the equip helmet heavy T2 underscore 3 helped me find it. Helm of the Inquisitor, the last leader of the original Inquis Inquisition went by the name Ameridan. Now this told me this was the right helmet I wanted. Now, the Inquisitor helmet will probably affect his helmet. If he wore one, I can't remember. But it doesn't affect any other NPC, which is why it's the more likeable asset to replace. So, equip item assets. So I went through them and then under equipment, crafting equipped templates armors helm and under equipment items armors helms so like I said that's where I found this one and in here it says I equip item appearance so I went to finding data explorer and that's when I found which ones it edits or which ones are used for the Inquisition Helm. So I've edited all these. Now, to un unhide her, we need to make sure turn off her when equipped as helmet is unticked on these equip item assets. And you need it for all of them, so it replaces it for each tier. Now, if you wanted to make something like a necklace for everyone to use, you would click negate follower requirement. This would make it so everyone uses it. Now for requirement race, this is by default three. This means up until Kunari, so only elves, humans and dwarves can use this helmet. To make it for everyone, we do minus one here and make sure negate race requirement is ticked. Now, to make it so the ears don't get flattened, on alternate head morph it normally is no ears, but we want it on none. And that's for each of these equip item assets. Let's have a look. Let's see if there's another example. Yeah, that's got no description. Oh, that's Anna. Okay. Templar helmets. So if we wanted to know which ones are all the Templar helmets, we go to that one. And it's these two we would have have to edit. Sorry, the wind's been a bit weird today. <laughs> 
so again you would edit these all for example that is free for the requirement race would change that to minus one to make sure canary can use it as well and turn off her when equipped make sure that's unticked and if it's got the beard one ticked as well make sure that's unticked and change alternate head morph to none okay i think that's everything i will be including all the locations for the meshes and the textures and the equip item assets for the inquisitor helm if that's the one you want to use Otherwise, go through the method I just showed to work out which equip item assets you need to edit. Okay, thank you. Bye.